getting some net time in ahead of this weekend's round of club cricket. The Luggett Albion Cricket Club's ground and facilities are housed at the local camping ground. They run the facility as a way to fund the club. But President Mike O'Connor says the nearby government-funded Red Bridge Hub has more than halved the number of customers at the camping ground this year. And so the revenue just hasn't come in and these freeloaders have been staying up at the Red Bridge for the last six weeks and just taking a real advantage of it. The hubs have been set up for self-contained vehicles only, but O'Connor says non-self-contained vehicles have been staying there en masse. In three nights that we've had uh, a look in the next morning around 7 o'clock, it's been absolutely chocker with definitely vehicles that are not self-contained. All the signage there says that they must be self-contained, but yeah, it's just, uh, it's just beyond a joke to be honest. He says they've been made to jump through a lot of hoops to conform with camping ground regulations, including spending $100,000 on new showers and toilets, and another 20000 is needed to hook up to the council's new luggage sewerage system. Any profits left over go towards the area's nine cricket teams. It's not cheap to run a, uh, a cricket club, and um, but we've been, we're pretty proud to say that money has all gone back into um, either the club rooms, the facilities, the roading, the upkeep of the ground, or into the, the junior cricket, or the men's cricket. But not all campers have been flouting the rules. Our van is not a self-contained van, so we need a, a camping place with a toilet. And this one is also like nice view, good area for $5 is perfect. The council say they've had between one and three self-contained vehicles a night at the Red Bridge Hub, which have been moved on from the site, but others may have arrived after the camping ambassadors have done their checks. But O'Connor says the council isn't policing the hub well enough. It's just these freeloaders that are, um, that are not saying that they're only staying out at the Red Bridge, but wherever they are, they should be kicked out um, if they're not self-contained. The Luggett Community Association say the hub's been a roaring success and the number of problems associated with freedom camping has reduced this summer. But without more vigilant policing of the rules, these players fear their summers of cricket may be numbered. In Luggett, the South today.